Today, I'll be showing you how to do the dying machine Easter egg in this simple 2024 guide. First step you need to do is turn on power. Now click the two terminal buttons to activate the Dark Ether portal. This is where you collect a part for the Pack-A-Punch. There will be a prompt on your screen. Go to there and travel through the Ether tunnel. That is where the Pack-A-Punch part will be. Return back to the pack punch and forge the machine back together. This is step one to the Easter egg. Return back to the power room where a dark ether portal will be there waiting for you. Once through the dark ether, you're finding three items to build the ether scope. They can spawn randomly, but these are the only locations they spawn at. The second spawn location is in the crash site on the plane engine. The third is in spawn underneath the stairs. Once you've collected all three parts, return back to the Pack-A-Punch room and behind it, there'll be a table where you build the ether scope. Step two, go through the next round and there'll be a portal in speed cola room. Go through to the dark ether. Now pick up the book off the desk and go to these three spirit spawn locations. The second one is in control room, aka the challenge room. The third is at the table where you built the ether scope. Once you've done that, return back to the computer and interact with it. Now it's time to build and upgrade the die weapon. The first step is to kill a Megaton. Once you've done that, pick up the card that it drops. Now go to Weapons Lab and interact with the broken machine, where you get the die remote controller. Now train up a lot of zombies in spawn and then interact with the skeleton behind the closed door. This is where the soul filling begins. Once it's done, interact with the skeleton again to where the door will open. This is where the die weapon is. Once you have the die weapon, go up to the penthouse where there will be a box on the ledge. Now shoot that box. Turn to your left and with the die weapon, suck up the empty canister. Now go back to where the box fell and pick up the empty flask. This is the first step to upgrade your die weapon. Wait till a dog spawns and place the canister in the machine. Shoot the dog in front of it to where the machine sucks up the gas. Then go to the crash site and place the can on top of the box. Shoot the can and interact with it. Go down to speed cola room and shoot the arm that is shown on the screen. This is the second upgrade. While in the dark ether, shoot the box to get the fuse under the floating plane. Once out the dark ether, there will be a portal next to the tree. Interact with it and go through. Once you're through, return to the weapons lab and interact with this machine. Once you're out the dark ether, go to where the portal was and interact with the box on the car. Now go to speed cola room and shoot the arm that's on the screen. This is the third upgrade. Go to the pack a punch room to where a dark ether portal will be there. Interact with it. Now go to these three locations and use the die weapon to suck up the crystal essence. With every crystal you do, you have to shoot the box. That is next to pack a punch. The first location is the roof of spawn building. The second location is next to Juggernaut Machine. And the third is in the pond area. Once you've done all three, interact with the box and then shoot the arm displayed on the screen. Fourth upgrade. In the pond area, there's a fungus on a tree. You need to get a Megaton to shoot at it. Once the fungus is purple, place the flask down on the floor. 
now you have to wait till the flask fills up that is roughly around or three minutes pick up the flask then go to the box in speed cola room interact with the box then shoot the arm on the screen once you've upgraded all die weapons go through to the next round in speed cola room there will be a portal interact with it then follow what i do on the screen once the spirit is done return back there and pick up the ether tool then buy Semtex from the crafting table and interact with the tank in the spawn room. Once you've done that, throw a Semtex at the tank and then it will shoot at the tree. Now go to the tree and pick up the golden ball. While holding the ball, go back to where you got that ether wrench and place it into the containment unit. This is the harder step. Split a Megaton and go down to Speed Cola Room. Once down there, make the halves of the Megaton go into the purple tube. Once they are in there, interact with the computer. The final step before the boss fight. Go to the spawn room where a dark ether portal will be there. Interact with it and follow on screen. Then interact with the spirit. Once that has happened, pick up the photo and that is where the fight begins once you're in the room this is a simple process you have to keep all the zombies away from all of while he breaks down three of the machines a lot of zombies will be spawning so make sure you use your die weapon to help you out Once Orlov is in his third location, break down the machine, the screen will go white and then run upstairs to this purple door. This is a hard part because now you have to run and dodge all the lightning. Otherwise, you can get hurt very quickly. Then wait for the helicopter to arrive. Interact with it. And there you go. You have completed the machine Easter egg in Cold War. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.